this video I'm going to talk about the muscles of the neck. The muscles of the neck are divided into groups according to their development. So the first group is going to be the muscles are derived from the first visceral arch, and the second from the second visceral arch, and the third is the cranial thoracic uh, thoracal muscle that connects the cranium to the thoracal part. And then you have the anterior group of the muscles, the lateral group of the muscles, and then the deep muscles, which lies inside the neck that, that connects uh, to the vertebrae. So the muscles that derives from the first visceral arch are uh, two muscles. The first one is musculus milohioideus, as you see here. It originates from linea milohioidea, from the uh, mandible, and inserts at the hyoid bone. And the function of this muscle is to pull the mandible down as, um, at the same time as it elevates the hyoid bone. Um, and as you see, there are two muscles on each side. When they, they fuse in the middle and form the floor of the oral cavity. And then you have the musculus digasticus. It has an anterior belly and a posterior belly, but the anterior belly is only the anterior belly is a part of the first visceral arch. The posterior one is part of the second visceral arch. So the anterior belly of the musculus digastricus sits on fossa digastrica on the mandible and then inserts at the tendon of the hyoid bone. And the function of this um, belly or this muscle is to pull the mandible backwards. And then if you go to the second visceral arch you can see the uh, posterior belly here. It sits on the mastoid uh, notch or incisura mastoidea and inserts at the tendon of the hyoid bone. And the function of this is to pull the hyoid bone upwards and backwards. And then you have a um, style of hyoidum, musculus stylohyoidum. Uh, this one sits on the styloid process of the uh, temporal bone and inserts at the hyoid bone. I'm going to show you it on a 3D model. Just going to go through the platysma. First, the platysma is the most outer outer muscle of all. It's subcontinuous muscle, which means it lies under the skin. It inserts at the uh, region of the second rib on a fascia called fascia pectoralis. And then inserts at the boss, uh, base of the mandible. So if you go to our human being here, um, you can start with the first muscles. Oh, sorry, let's see. I'm going to hide this one. If you go underneath here, the first muscle you see is this one, musculus milohioideus. As I said, this one forms the um, bay, uh, the floor of the oral cavity, and then you have the uh, musculus digastricus. That's the anterior belly, and uh, the posterior belly is here. All right, so these two are going to be the muscles from the first visceral arch and muscle from the second visceral arch is the posterior belly and then you have the musculus stylohyoideus as you see here. It sits on the processus stylohyoideus and sits on the actual bone. And then if you look at in front, interior view, you see the uh, musculus platysma. Okay. So now we go over to the third group. You have the craniothoracal uh, muscles. Craniothoracal muscles are going to be two muscles: uh, musculus sternocleidomastoideus and musculus trapezius. The sternocleidomastoideus uh, originates from the sternum and the clavicula, the sternum and the clavicula, and inserts at the mastoid process of the uh, temporal bone. Uh, hence the name sterno, this one, cleido, mastoideus sternocleidomastoideus, according to where it attaches. And the function of this muscle is that when it, when both sides contracts, it pulls the head backwards, because it, it inserts at the um, back of the head. And uh, when one side contracts, it pulls the head to the same side, uh, but the face the opposite side. An example of that is if you sit straight and look to the right, um, you can kind of feel the muscle on your neck, uh, go out of the neck. So the next muscle is musculus trapezius. Musculus trapezius uh, has or originates from different parts. 
um, superior nuchal line of the occipital bone and the external occipital protuberance and this uh, spinous processes from 1 to 12 vertebrae. And then it inserts at the acromium and the spina scapula and also uh, inserts at the clavicula. And the function of the trapezius is that it pulls the scapula towards the midline and, and also uh, upper part elevates the shoulder and lower part uh, lowers the shoulder. Um, that muscle is easy to see on people who uh, go to the gym and work out a lot. <laughs> so if you go back to the program again, you can see this muscle right here, musculus trapezius. So it's on the protuberante externa and nuclear line, so it's from and the transverse processes of the vertebrae 1 to 12. And so it's on the shoulder, we go ahead here, so it's on the clavicula and the acromium of the uh, scapula and also the spina uh, clavicula. And here you see the musculus sternum cleidomastoideus, so it's on the sternum and clavicula and the Processus mastoideus. All right. Go to the next group is the anterior group of the muscles. There, there are the five muscles, and their names they are named according to where they sit. So, for instance, the first one, sternohyoideus, is going to sit on the sternum and go all over to the hyoid bone. It's going to sit on the sternum and go over to the hyoid bone. And the function of this is to pull the hyoid, hyoid bone downwards. And right posterior to it is going to be the sternothyroid uh, muscle. It sits on the, originates on the sternum and goes to the uh, uh, cartilage of the thyroid. And then you have the a muscle that goes from the thyroid to the uh, hyoid bone, therohyoideus. And then you have genohyoideus. So genus means chin. So it's going to sit on the chin or inside the chin and then uh, go over to the hyoid bone so the uh, thyroid hyoideus is uh, gonna sit at the spina mentalis again here and sit on the hyoideus and then you have omohyoideus omohyoideus has two bellies the uh, superior belly sits on the hyoid bone and goes over to the tendon. I can show you this one on the uh, on my program, but it's, it's here as well. It's easier to see on the program. It sits on the hyoid bone and goes to the tendon, and from the tendon, there's another belly, um, musculus uh, omohyoideus, um, superior uh, inferior belly, sits on the superior margin of the scapula. If you go to our program again, go in front here, and we'll try to highlight them all. The first one you see here is the sternohyoideus, and then right posterior, uh, posterior to it, you have sternotyroidea, right? So that's two muscles. Third muscle is going to be the thyroidhyoidea. Then if we remove the uh, Nilo Hewideus. I think it'll be easier to see this one. Genu Hewideus. So that's four muscles, and the fifth muscle is going to be here. Omo Hewideus. That's the uh, superior belly. Sits on the tendon, and then the um, inferior or yeah, inferior belly is going to sit at the superior margin of the scapula. It's kind of hard to see it here, but let's try to show you it. We go ahead and hide the supraspinosus muscle. There it is. It sits on the margin superior. Okay, so the lateral muscles of the neck are going to be the uh, musculus scale uh, scalenus. It has uh, three portions, the anterior uh, musculus scalenus, medius, and posterior. The anterior musculus scalenus uh, starts at the transverse processes of the third to the sixth cervical vertebrae and inserts at the um, protuberantia musculus scaleni anterior 
on the first rib. And then the medius one is gonna sit, it's gonna originate from all the cervical vertebrae, all the transverse processes of the cervical vertebrae, and insert right posterior to the um, tubercle M scalene anterior, right here. And then the posterior one is gonna originate from the transverse process of the fifth to seventh ver uh, cervical vertebrae and sit on the second uh, rib. So that the musculus scalenus. And they all have a um, common function. When both sides contracts, the neck is gonna um, flex or go, go turn forward. And then if one side contracts, the neck is gonna go to the side that the muscles contract. And then you have uh, the last group is the deep muscles, which are gonna sit on the vertebrae. It consists of four muscles. So we'll start with the first one, musculus longus colli. Musculus longus colli is a little confusing to, to begin with, but um, I'm gonna try to break it down. It has three parts, right? The vertical part, it's gonna be sit, it's gonna sit here in the middle. And then superior oblique part and inferior oblique part. So if we start at the inferior oblique part, it's gonna originate from the thoracical um, vertebrae T1 to T3 and go all over and insert at the transverse processes of the fifth to seventh vertebrae. And then the superior oblique part is gonna be the opposite. It's gonna originate from the uh, transverse processes of the third to the sixth vertebrae and then insert at the anterior tubercle of the atlas. All right, and then the last one is a vertical part, and it's going to actually originate from all down from across down here from the uh, T3 uh, and then sit on C5. So C5 to T3, and then it's going to insert at the body of uh, C2 and C4. So on here to here. Here actually, T2, T4. And uh, next one is going to be Musculus longus capitis. Musculus longus capitis is going to uh, sit at the transfer processes process of the third to the sixth vertebrae and sit on base basis part of the occipital, uh, occipital bone. Uh, and one common thing about all these three muscles is that they all have capitis in their name, meaning that they all uh, go from the, or sit from the vertebrae to the occipital bone or the head, capitis. And the next one is rectus capitis anterior and lateral. The rectus capitis anterior sit on the mass, uh, massa lateralis atlantis, on the lateral mass of the atlantis, and and inserts at the basis of the occipital. And then the lateral one is gonna sit at the transverse process of the Atlant uh, Atlantis and sit at the pars lateralis osis occipitalis. And the function of all the four um, muscles is that is this, uh, they have a common function. When all of them uh, contract the neck is gonna bend forward, and when one side contracts, the uh, neck is gonna turn to the side that it contracts. And I hope that was helpful.